In this video, we'll create a simple PHP example using Apache Kafka in the Confluent Cloud. So, before I start uh, logging in in Confluent Cloud, I released a new course. It's called Laravel and Kafka Breaking a Monolith to Microservices. In this course, I will integrate Kafka with Laravel and uh, I will break a big app to microservices and you will learn a lot of advanced concepts such as uh, Kubernetes and Google Cloud deployment, etc. Also, you can uh, uh, take this course uh, in Udemy or in uh, my uh, scalablescripts.com website where you can uh, get it as a bundle. So you can click bundles and go to the Laravel bundle where you can get this course and nine other courses with uh, a fixed price. So the choice is yours. Now let's move to the app. Go to confluent.cloud and uh, when we, you register here, you will have uh, $200 of uh, free credit for the first three months. So for this test, uh, you won't pay anything. I already have an account, so I will log in now. So I logged in with my account now and uh, we, I can create the class on my own, but I will create it with the tutorial. So I will select the basic one and uh, let's begin the configuration. Google Cloud, uh, I'm in Europe, so I will select uh, Europe West 1, single zone. Cluster name, microservices. Uh, so this is correct. Let's launch the cluster now. So the cluster is uh, created. Now we don't have any topics and uh, so I did the tutorial before and it seems uh, that uh, now it's not uh, helping me with uh, the hints. Maybe in your case you should uh, uh, see hints. Let's click here. So this is it. So let's go to the cluster settings and here are the credentials that we need in order to connect with our app. Let me zoom it a little bit bigger and uh, we got it. So let's go to the topic. Let's create a topic. I'll create uh, the first topic. I'll call it default. I'll select one partition and uh, let's create this topic. So, so topics are like categories. We can group uh, events uh, differently. So uh, some events, uh, we can group them in one topic and some events into another topic. So we can consume it differently in both cases. So these are the topics. Let's go to the messages here and let's produce a new message. So this is a message that we want to produce. We can click the button here. And uh, we got uh, the message here. So this was consumed. Now let's uh, go to API access. So we will uh, use this later uh, when we set the credentials because uh, we need to connect it with our app. So uh, I will select global access here. Let's click next. And uh, these are the keys. So we have to uh, I will download these keys and I will use it to our app. And uh, that's it. This was uh, the tutorial. And now we have uh, everything we need in order to create our app. So I am in an empty folder here. And uh, the first thing that I will, cre I will create is a Docker file. So I will create it uh, here, Docker file. Why Docker? Because uh, in order to use uh, Kafka, you have to install also the extension in your php.ini file. You can do that locally and, or you can do that with Docker. With Docker, I find it way more easier. So the library is this. So add a heal 
libar di kafka and uh, you have the instruction here to install kafka in your local machine you have to ins follow this uh, instruction also but with docker everything will be much more simpler so you can uh, use uh, whatever you prefer for docker i will paste this code so this is the only thing that you need i will provide also this code in the description of this video basically these are the packages that uh, you need to install in order to enable the rd kafka extension and uh, that's it so uh, with this we can uh, kafka is installed but we have to create now our PHP files. So we'll create uh, the first PHP file and I'll call it consumer. So in this consumer, we'll create a Kafka consumer and we'll consume messages. So here, let's create first a configuration which is equal to new RD Kafka configuration. Notice that uh, I I don't have uh, these uh, classes highlighted because they are not installed in my machine but don't worry they will be installed by the docker file so this will work fine now let's add the necessary configuration to connect with our confluent cloud so go to cluster settings and we need this bootstrap server so I'll copy this uh, link here and I will add here conf set bootstrap servers and I will add uh, this uh, URL then I will add conf set security protocol and uh, this will be sas SSL. Then we need the conf set SAS mechanism, which will be plain. Then we need the, our uh, uh, username and password. So SAS username, and uh, we downloaded the keys. So I have the keys here. Uh, I will add the API key here and uh, we need the password which uh, is uh, this one so the file that uh, we downloaded e are the username and the password we need also two other uh, configuration uh, options which is a group ID you can put whatever here I will put my group or just a uh, group so it doesn't matter and uh, we need the last one is auto of set reset earliest so this uh, will uh, get uh, our messages the earliest possible so let's get the consumer is equal to new rd kafka kafka consumer and we'll pass the configuration here so we created our consumer and uh, we want to subscribe to our default topic that we created so we'll add here subscribe and uh, we'll put an array here and inside we'll add default so inside the array it will be the topic that uh, we will subscribe and uh, what is left now is to add a while true loop so this will run all the time it will be an infinite loop and we will consume messages so let's consume messages so message is equal to consumer consume and we need uh, to put some time here so every 10 seconds or every five seconds doesn't matter and uh, we'll var dump 
the message payload. And uh, that's it, our consumer. So let's uh, run this consumer using this Docker file and uh, we will add uh, one last line in the end. And in the end of this Docker file, we need to execute the consumer. So PHP consumer.php. So this will run uh, this file and uh, we are ready now to test it. So I'll open the terminal and run here docker build minus t. So here we need uh, the name of uh, the docker container. I will call it php underscore kafka and uh, dot means this directory. So we'll build this docker file here and uh, it was fast. Uh, we build the docker file and now we need to run it. So docker run php underscore kafka and uh, now we are running this uh, uh, app and uh, we have some events that are running here so these are my previous events and uh, now we are getting null null so we are not uh, getting any message so we in order to send a message now we have to create a producer or we can go to confluent cloud and uh, here let's uh, produce uh, a message in the uh, default topic so let's produce a new message and uh, the message is uh, hello from youtube produce so when we produce this message we should see it here and uh, we actually see it so the message was uh, very fast now let's uh, create a producer on our own so we created the consumer that was successful let's create the producer so producer here and uh, what uh, we will add here i will copy this uh, part except these uh, two last configurations and uh, I will add it here. So these are all the configurations that we need in order to create the producer which is equal to new rd kafka producer and the configuration here. And uh, now we are ready to produce. I will add also a while true loop here and uh, we need to write some terminal messages so the message is equal to read line write a message so we'll write it ourselves in our terminal here we'll get the topic which is equal to producer new topic default and uh, the topic will produce in uh, the part the first partition so rd kafka partition ua so this is the constant the first partition is zero and we'll send a message there and in the end we need to flash it so flash we need to put also the time there so that's it so this is also a simple producer we add this configuration there uh, this is the message that we'll get from the terminal this is how we, we get the topic or create a new one and we produce a message so in order to run this also we have to uh, restart our docker file so I'm not sure if I can stop this, but uh, in order to stop that, uh, I will run docker ps, I will copy the container id and I will run docker stop this container id. So that will uh, stop it, so it is slow and it was finished, so this was stopped and uh, now let's rebuild it again so docker build this will get rebuilt we need to run 
the app again so this uh, will run uh, the consumer again now let's run the producer so to run the producer uh, I will run the docker ps again here I will copy this uh, name which is uh, sweet tur turning your name might be different so check it in your docker ps and uh, run now docker exec minus it this uh, name sh with this command we'll go inside uh, the docker container so here we are inside the docker container and uh, we are not in my machine so clear here if i run pwd here is a slash up so it's not my local machine here let's run php producer php and we see write a message here so we can write any message hello and we get again hello there but uh, we can see that uh, the message is uh, running here so uh, this is uh, the producer and we get the message there also so this was a simple example on how to create a producer and a consumer in uh, php also i will provide uh, this docker file in the, the description of this video and uh, i hope you like this tutorial thank you and uh, please share and subscribe